A violent, dangerous criminal knows where our home is. He knows what we mean to each other. He knows that if you're trying to live a good, clean life now, we clearly played a part in that. He's... He's fucking with your ma, Seth. She's a good woman. If back when my folks died, somebody told me that I was gutting one greasy son of a bitch away from making sure they lived, you know what I would do, Seth? For one more fucking day? One more conversation? A chance to tell them that I was sorry and that I loved them? I'd kill him. I'd kill him ten times over, and I'd waste every motherfucker that stood in my way. I never thought that I could come back and that things wouldn't just be okay. They could be better. Better than they were before. Y'all are the best people I know. Please. Let's make it home. Together. The three of us. Sorry, I was in my nowhere place, wondering what kind of psychopath invented glitter. That, and, um, <laughs> I was sort of wishing we had a normal Christmas. Oh, nah, I know it ain't nobody's fault, at least not the three of us. All things considered, we were having a pretty sweet Christmas, actually. Then, well, there it went. It's okay. There'll be more Christmases and a bunch of other holidays, too. I'm not sweating it. Just getting over myself. I won't be fine. What about you, Boo? You, uh... You doing alright? <laughs> I mean... You went from making sweet-ass baked goods for the festival, to cuddling in the pillow fort with me and Seth, to... sneaking the piece out of my glove box and keeping it on you... <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. It was kind of hot, but that's on me being a mess. I just... I don't... I don't ever, ever want you to think that you have to take drastic measures like that. I know, I know you want to help. I... We're in this together. Always. The three of us now. But... If we've messed up to the point you're going to have to go popping caps and asses, that's not exactly ideal. Uh, well, yeah. If I had to, I would. I see what you're doing, boo. It's a double standard. I'm a hypocrite. I get it. I get it. If what it boils down to is that when shit hits the fan, we'd both go to extreme lengths to look out for each other. Even if it meant we'd... <sighs> Sorry. Uh, head still feeling uh, rough. Stress migraines or something. Man, I think I was so freaked out about what could happen, it's giving me a headache. You too? Damn, babe. Trauma will do that to you. We'll work through it, and we'll be fine. As much as the past has kicked my ass. Look at us, right? We're getting all this stuff put away before it's even New Year's Day. We're like really super well-adjusted adults and shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> hey, 
Don't get too used to it. I'll stand up and dunk on you faster than you can say, Hey, boo, can we have cinnamon rolls for a New Year's Eve party tonight? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean that's not the saying? I'm pretty sure that's what everybody says. It's like a whole thing. Heard it when I was a kid. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, yeah, I, I must have heard it from my folks or something. Uh, or maybe on TV. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, the joke is overstated. It's welcome. Yeah, I, I was wondering if you'd be willing to bake tonight. You can put me and Seth to work, too. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, yeah, we, we're helping out right now, but like... We'll always be around to help out. Huh. I... I mean... Well, I, I haven't asked him. I don't know if Seth is planning on sticking around now that he doesn't have Derek looking to get even with him. I guess I just... Assumed. But... Yeah, I... I I don't want him gone. Not now. Not when we've been through all this and he's just gone through that shit with his ma. Um, what about you? Do you like having him around? <laughs> yeah, I figured you didn't hate his guts or anything, Jolene. <laughs> He's soft on you, too. Reckon he sees the same wonderful, beautiful, sweet cheeks that I do. And you've been a good influence on him. Rehabilitating a sad little country boy. Sounds like a Hallmark movie. Yeah, well, we're probably too gay for Hallmark, but we'll shop it around and see how it goes. <laughs> ah... What? Oh, yeah, I'm... I'm good, Boo. Seriously. Oh, <laughs> okay. Smooches. Almost as sweet as cinnamon rolls. <laughs> okay, okay, come on. Yeah, this box is ready. Huh? Oh, well, you want to run this up to the attic for Seth? Okay. Just tell him to quit slacking. It ain't that damn dusty up there. He's probably just goofing off. I'll get the rest of this cleaned up. Oh, hey. Here, let me snag that from you. There can't be too much left now, huh? Yeah, yeah, go figure. Working together makes things easier. Who'd have thought? Hey, uh, I, uh, I hope that next year you don't have to go on some kind of, uh, dangerous wild goose chase, or mom chase in this particular case. <laughs> well, there's only so many times some greasy douchebag can surprise you with a lock of your ma's hair, right? It would be really strange if it happened twice. And I don't think I'd fall for it again. Hopefully. <sighs> oh, she can handle herself. And I think I'd rather just... Do some regular old holiday celebrating next time around. Oh, I... I know, I just... Wanted to say sorry again. And I promise I'm not actually up here slacking. I just thought... Maybe, um... You two might appreciate me being out of your hair for a little bit. That and it was a mess in here, so I did some tidying and organizing and whatnot. <laughs> You're sweet. I, I know. I know, sugar, but 
Also, sometimes it's nice to have a little one-on-one, and I just... I don't want y'all to feel like I'm overstaying my welcome, or in the way... You're an angel. Hey, being here with the both of you has been good for me, too. Now that you've had a chance to see what my family's really like, well, you know I mean it when I say there isn't really anywhere else that feels like home to me. This is the closest thing I've had to feeling like I'm with people I belong with since... (sighs) Hell, Um, since the last time I was in this house, I guess. Uh, uh, huh? You don't, er, mmm, oh, oh, hell. See, this is the kind of meddling that I was trying to avoid. You never, you never dug through any of these boxes up here? The ones that were left behind from the the previous owners? <laughs> okay, that's fair. There could have been some weird shit in there. Or boring stuff like bits and bobs for the water heater or something. Or some keepsakes a certain taffy-eating loser left behind. If I knew he hadn't told you, I wouldn't have said shit. This house of yours, I... I guess Al must have put it on the market after his folks passed, since he could just stay in the little apartment attached to the shop. So, here. Yeah, that's us, right out front. I imagine he didn't want to tell you because... Well, a lot of reasons. He'd have to think about his folks. He'd have to think about me. and He'd have to remember a lot of stuff that's probably easier to forget. But he's happy here, with you. You make him feel safe enough to come make new memories in a place where he probably thought he'd never get to make memories again. And that's... That's really beautiful. There's a whole lot about you that's like that. Oh, please. You know what I mean. You have that power. You like nurture things, heal things. That's beautiful. And not not to discount your... uh, literal, uh, physical beauty and stuff. That's definitely a thing, too. I just didn't mean that in this particular instance. (sighs) Right. Okay, yeah, I just didn't want you to think I was, you you know, uh, boundaries. Mm. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Gotcha. Uh, So, uh, were you uh, trying to tell me something? Plans for tonight? You mean... Me? The one who ain't got nowhere else to be? Oh yeah, lots of... A bunch of big plans. Uh, Probably gonna take the bike out for a spin. Oh. Well... Uh, I was going to go out with the gang and... Oh. Uh, I was going to watch the ball drop in the city. Oh. Should I keep messing with you or have you gotten sick of me yet? (laughs) Ah. Sugar, there ain't nowhere else I'd rather be than here on New Year's Eve. Why? Why? Are we doing something? And then I told him, sure, sure, those are sweet candies. And he ate a mouthful of them. 
Come on, it wasn't that big of a deal. I just don't like that obnoxious, artificial kind of cinnamon flavor. I like fireball and hot tamale candies. Cinnamon rolls are fine. Cinnamon anything is fine if sugar's baking with it. <sighs> Listen to you, what a suck up. Let me lift all these boxes with my big strong arms. Let me carry all the groceries in one trip. Let me fix the leaky faucet. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you liked being so helpful and nice and shit. Oh, please. He used to make me help with chores when we were younger, too. He'd bribe me with food all the time. Come over to watch movies, eat junk, my mom's baking brownies. Stuff like that. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Work smarter, not harder. So it seems like Boo has caught on and figured out how to get you to do all kinds of tricks. Like a good little pup. <laughs> oh, hey, calm down. I just like to help people who help me. And you both have helped me a bunch. Doing whatever I can to make myself useful isn't just fair. It, it makes me happy. Especially when it's the two of you. Since, you know, you're... You're all right, I guess. Just all right, he says. Hey, Boo, do you remember when he was getting all mushy in the backseat of them railroad tracks? And we were all awkwardly hugging as if we weren't dying to figure out how that was supposed to work. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this guy likes being here with us. Gross. Get his ass, sugar. He acts like he's all big and tough, but he's as much of a softie as I am these days. Maybe, but I don't cry as much. Allegedly. You might just be a little emotionally constipated. You don't always have to be the strong one, you know. Y yeah? Well. <sighs> right. A little too real. A anyway. Since we're here and all the chores are done, and it's the start of the new year, a new chapter. What's next? Uh, <laughs> wow, so the emotional constipation was too real, but now we're talking about life? <laughs> uh, well, well, I don't mean like what's your five-year plan or anything like that, but I, the last time we were all here at this table with a massive cinnamon roll, she was a lot different. I'm not going to tell you to get lost this time. Yeah, a lot has changed, huh? Well, I, I wasn't sure when would be a good time to bring it up, but it seems like now is about as good a time as any. <laughs> uh, if, and that's a big if, if me being around isn't a source of distress anymore. Uh, I've been talking to my pops. He offered to let me come home, but being under the same roof as him isn't quite a step I'm willing to take. But then he told me I could shack up in the garage, put a cot in there and dress it up a little bit, just while I'm getting on my feet and working up funds to fix the bike. Work? You got something lined up? Pop said I'm welcome to work at the tavern, so, uh, I mean, I, I reckon it's probably tough on him being the bartender given his, uh, history. So, once I'm settled in at work, uh, I'll probably be doing that too. Whoa, holy shit, dude, that's awesome. I mean, the job is cool and all, but more so like, you and your dad being okay and shit. <laughs> well, 
Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Since talking to him at the Winter Festival, it's been less of a... a thing. And I guess after all the... mom stuff, I just... If there's someone in my life who actually wants to do the work of being better and making right on their mistakes, maybe I need to hear them out. I, uh, I don't think I would have had the strength to do all that if it wasn't for the two of you. Aw. Yeah. Boo's right. You've been growing a lot. You deserve credit, too. I used to think I really had my shit figured out. Before you showed up, I was... I was just in a comfortable state of limbo. Maybe. Things were good, but I realize... I still got a lot of work to do. So... Don't think that me or Boo got our shit all figured out or something. Well, life ain't really like that. We take it as it comes, and we do what we can. And if there's room to grow, we make our choices, and we see what happens. And seeing what's happened with you is real nice, man. Thanks. Both of you. I, uh... Mm. Oh, yeah. He's about to say something sweet. He's doing the thing. Ugh. Asshole. <laughs> I, I just wanted to say... This past year has been really tough. In a lot of ways. But... This past month with y'all has been the nicest, warmest time. There's a lot of hope I thought I'd lost, but I found a whole lot more than I ever thought I'd have. Thanks to the love that y'all show me, I might be able to... I might be able to love like that, too. I might be able to live a life I thought was out of my reach. So, what's my plan? My plan is just to... to live. That and... Pop said business has been picking up a bit, so I might actually make a little more than enough cash to get the bike fixed. And, uh... That's all I really need. Hey, you can't just sweep all that mush under the rug, you loser. But... He ain't lying. The, the city folk are starting to realize we make for a nice little weekend retreat. I think up in the hills there's been a bunch of rentals put up. So I get people showing up to the shop to get supplies and shit. Which is great, because I don't talk about it much, but literally I'm broke as hell and would have been out of business if I uh, didn't have a little bit saved up. Legally. Legally earned. Taxed and everything. <laughs> yeah, if you say so. I do say so. Also, I say, you assholes better bring it in for a big group hug. <laughs> because I fucking love y'all. <laughs> hey. We made it. Seth. Boo. We're... <laughs> we're gonna be alright. Right? right? Mm-hmm. I think so. Even if there's a little more work to be done, I know y'all got me. And I got y'all. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. 
<sighs> oh. Uh, shit. I think we missed the countdown. <laughs> Happy New Year, you two. Let's do this again. All right. <laughs> I'll hold you to it. So long as there's going to be cinnamon rolls again. <sighs> I love y'all too. Even if you guys are assholes. <laughs> Happy New Year. <sighs>